channel and welcome to another Sunday and another simply elegant meal well today we're going to make something as I mentioned with puff pastry and I'm sure many of you out there have heard of beef Wellington now that's a delicious meal but two things come to mind with that for me one of them is it's very expensive because it uses a whole tenderloin of beef which is a very expensive cut of beef it also has a mushroom pate on the top of it um, and although I would find that fine my husband does not like mushrooms so that kind of leaves that out of the picture for now but I found another Wellington and this Wellington is a pork Wellington and the meat source for this uh, dinner is a pork tenderloin. Remember, not a pork loin, a pork tenderloin. It's a very, very tender cut of pork and it works out very well. Wrap it up in pastry and the coating that goes on this one is a spinach coating, which is quite delicious sounding. So I'm going to take you down to the stove and we're going to get started. The first thing we're going to do, let me just give you what the ingredients are. For the filling, we're going to have um, a small onion, and I have part of a big onion, but a small onion, a couple of cloves of garlic, some baby spinach, salt, pepper, and Dijon mustard. So, very simple, very simple. And the only other ingredients you have, uh, now it called for rosemary to season the pork tenderloin with. I'm not a fan of rosemary, so I'm not going to use that. But salt, pepper, and maybe I'll put a little Italian seasoning, but that's it. And a sheet of puff, frozen puff pastry. So let's go down to the pan and we'll get busy making the filling. Be right back. Okay, I have my pan heating on the stove. And you want to preheat your oven to 425. And I'm going to add about a tablespoon of olive oil. and my chopped up onions and we're going to let those saute for a bit and soften and then we'll add the spinach And while that's happening, let me move you down and you can see the pork tenderloin here, okay? Now, what I have done is, and I'm not contaminating my board, I have it on plastic, it has this little tail, and so to make it cook as even as possible, I'm just pushing the tail up so it's about the same thickness as the other end, okay? Now I'm going to rinse my hands off. back up the pan now I'm going to serve this with a baked potato which cooks at the same temperature as the beef uh, pork sorry so that will work out just fine I'm going to turn this down just a little bit. I have it on just a, just above medium. I 
And I'm just going to cook these a few more minutes to get them nicely softened. Let me see. Italian seasoning. I think I might use a little of that on the pork. They're softening nicely. I'm going to add some garlic. Cook that for about a minute. Turn this up just a little bit. Now it says to add six ounces of baby spinach. I think this is 5.5 ounces. And it says fully washed. So I'm taking it at its word. It always looks like so much when you put it in and so little when you finish. Probably hear some may hear some thunder in the background. Just an afternoon thunderstorm. doesn't take long to, to wilt it down. And I'm not worried about the stems. The stems are fine. It's baby spinach. If it was regular spinach, I might trim some of them. That looks like a bad piece. Now it lets it gives off some water when it's cooking the onions and the spinach. So we're going to try to let it simmer 
to get rid of most of that water. because we don't want to make the dough soggy. Kind of let this simmer for just a couple more minutes. And I'll be back when we're ready to go to the next step. Okay, what I have here is a bowl and I have some paper towel lining it. And I'm going to take the spinach and put it in that. Squeezing out as much of the liquid as I can as I take it out of the pan. Just give it a little shush. And then get rid of the paper towel. And we're going to add two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. I'm going to let this cool for just about five minutes before I put it on the pastry. So I'll be back in a minute. All right. Now it says to make about a three inch strip. <laughs> Look at this. Isn't this so funny? It really is. How little spinach you actually end up with. And now I'm going to rinse my hands again. I'm going to start with the ends here. I'm just going to fold them up a bit. And this dough, let me get my scraper. Okay. Gonna to try to tuck these in best we can. Doesn't have to be perfect. The dough has been sitting here, even though the surface is floured, it gets sticky.
So I've turned it now so that the spinach is on the top. Okay. And we're going to attempt to put it on this pan. here. I want to be able to pinch this pastry together. All right. Now, we're going to make some little cuts here. And that's for steam. And the next thing I'm going to use is an egg wash. And I'm not going to put that on quite yet because I'm not putting it in the stove for about half an hour. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator right now because we're not quite ready to eat. But I'll show you what it looks like when it comes back out. I think it's going to be really beautiful. <laughs> See you in a bit. Okay. Here we are right out of the oven. And I'm thinking we should probably let it rest a little bit. However, I need to get it cut because it's time to eat. Let's see. Look at this. Wow. Can you see? Let me tip this way. Can you see? What a beautiful thing. Look at this. Some fresh pork, tenderloin, some spinach. Of course, I'm going to have to take a test, taste test. She's not going to make this one pretty, but I'll do pretty for the rest of them. I had a, a probe in mine that I set to 145. And so at 145, I knew it was, the pork was done. It took about 35 minutes, 30 minutes, no, 35 minutes. And this is hot, baby. It's hot. But I'm going to try it. I put my glasses on so it wouldn't scare you. Here we go. Oh my goodness, I don't know if I can eat this. so tender and the spinach and the puff pastry is wonderful okay I'm going now because I'm gonna eat the rest of this we're gonna serve it with baked potato here let me look I'll show you and we have um, cucumbers and tomatoes here we're gonna serve it with Baked potato, cucumbers, and tomato. 
Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, that's delicious. You've got to try it. All right, I'll see you Tuesday. We'll be doing something.